welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're now in chapter, flipping over into chapter 29, verses 1 to 9. And let's uh, read them out. Now this is what you shall do to them to consecrate them to minister as priests to me. Take one young bull and two rams without blemish and unleavened bread and unleavened cake mixed with oil and unleavened wafers spread with oil. You shall make them of fine and wheat flour. You shall put them in one basket and present them in the basket along with the bull and the two rams. Then you shall bring Aaron and his sons to the doorway of the tent of meeting and wash them with water. You shall take the garments and put on Aaron, the tunic and the robe and the ephod and the ephod and the breast piece. <coughs> And gird him with a skillfully woven band of the ephod, and you shall set the turban on his head and put the oil, holy crown on the turban. Then you shall take the anointing oil, pour it on his head and anoint, and anoint him. You shall bring his sons and put tunics on them. You shall gird them each with sashes, Aaron and his sons, and bind caps on them, and they shall have the priesthood by a perpetual statute. So you shall ordain Aaron and his sons. So there's uh, the clothing we've just been over the recent mornings here, and it is put on. It start They start by putting it on Aaron, and then eventually the, the sons will also get it. Uh, notice here that there's certain washings involved. As things are put on in a certain order. They're uh, washed at the doorway. Now, this doesn't mean that they're washed at the doorway to the tabernacle. They are inside the courtyard, and that whole space is, is a set apart for this. So this is happening in the courtyard, uh, not inside the holy or most holy place. Uh, notice like we had the, yesterday that, you know, Aaron is dressed by Moses. The sons are to be dressed also by Moses, and then their priesthood is inaugurated. So interesting how all these bits come together, and they come together in just a certain way. It is interesting here that Moses also dresses the sons. So all the new priests, as this priesthood begins, they're being dressed. They all have to submit and just let, let that happen to them. Uh, another thing here is what it means to ordain here in this space, in this, in this part. And so uh, basically it means to fill the hands. And so this is God laying his hands on these people and uh, embarking on putting them into service. So there's a lot more business going on here, the anointing with oil and so on. Uh, you can read it all yourself and think on it. It's interesting, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because we just can't touch nine verses here every morning. But anyway, here we have uh, this beginning of the priesthood, and this is the way God is doing it. So we'll see you tomorrow morning as we carry on just a bit further.